This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. Well, game wardens are seeking the public's assistance to help solve a case of bull, a bull elk that was killed and left to waste in the Delano Range in Hunt Unit 81. The bull was found west of Division Canyon, approximately 150 yards north of the Thousand Springs Road, between the Wincup Ranch and the Gamble Ranch. They believe the bull was shot sometime between Friday, November 17th, and Sunday morning, November 19th. Game wardens say another bull was shot and harvested in close proximity of the one that was left to waste. There's a thousand dollar reward from Operation Game Theft for information leading to the conviction of this crime. Witnesses may call their number at 1-800-992-3030 to report information on this or any other wildlife related crime. Angela Miles tells us who is interested in purchasing Edna. Tapping our news, CBS reportedly wants to take a shot at buying Aetna. According to the Wall Street Journal, the drugstore chain would pay $66 billion, mostly in cash, for the health insurance company. The companies are not commenting. The suspected merger is happening as Amazon is threatening to enter the drug industry. Investors seem to be applauding that deal. GM is on track to launch driverless cars in big cities in 2019. The Chevy Bolt is being test driven now with human backup drivers on board in San Francisco, Detroit, and Phoenix. New York's Manhattan will be added to that list next year. GE is going down as the biggest loser for the month of November and for the year. Shares have plunged more than 35% during the past month and have fallen for the past nine months in a row. GE's CEO is trying to turn the company around, but investors are becoming restless. Thanks, Angela. Well, if you want a flat price for your health care, look no further. There's a chiropractor in town who offers just that. Over 30 years of practice, um, I learned that I really had a distaste for the insurance game. Yeah. And um, I came up with this idea oh, about 18 years ago. I practiced this way in, in Ventura, California for 15 years. Cash only, low cost, mm -hmm. so that uh, people can afford to actually get taken care of. And you think about it, by the time you're through paying a co-payment and all those deductibles and all over, over a year, you could come here every week for that matter and still not spend as much money in a year. So it's $30 <laughs> per visit? $30 per visit, cash, no checks, no credit cards, none of that. Just keep it simple. The idea is you've got to keep the overhead down to be able to do this. And everything that I could think of, I cut that, that expense out. Mm -hmm. like having to go to the bank or doing a debit card or something where they're going to take a piece of the action well then that bites into your bottom line okay. so you're going to have to charge more yeah. so this, there's been a, been a lot of thought that went into this whole thing and uh, saying it was uh, got rave reviews uh, yeah. for 15 years in, in the in Ventura with it so <laughs> right up here at the top of Postal Road, the Prump Health Wellness and Nutrition Center which used to be back to roots right across the street from the post office correct uh, so what hours are you open here? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it's sort of a, a joke, but it's true, 10-ish uh -huh. till 1 and 3 till 7. I get wrapped up in things in the morning sometimes, and I'm rarely here at 10 sharp, 10-10, yeah. 10, 10, something. That, you know, how that started was in Ventura. People would always give me a hard time because they'd be waiting at the door for me. Yeah. And uh, they'd say, it says 10 o'clock, so you got to put ish on the door. <laughs> So I finally did, and I put it on my cards, too. <laughs> so how can people make an appointment? Well, we don't make appointments. It's uh, just do a walk-in thing. That's another way to keep the expense down. So I don't have staff that, I, that you have to pay for. I look yeah. at it as everything that I pay for, you're paying for. Yeah. And when you're a patient here, you become like family. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to protect you. And that means protect you from unreasonable expenses as well. So if I made it appointments, mm -hmm. I would be making appointments all day instead of taking care of y'all. Uh, how we, it's sort of a pseudo appointment. If you pop your head in and I'm busy, you say, hey doc, how long's the wait? Mm -hmm. uh, look at, uh, maybe about an hour and a half. Yeah. Put me in yeah. and I'll put you on the bottom of the stack and I just keep working. Come back in about an hour and a half, you got your spot right there already. There you go. 
So we are here at 2341 East Postal Road, Cash Chiropractic Care. In, in Pahrump, yes, across from the main post office. And uh, I, in the cards it says next to Back to Roots, it's actually part of Back to Roots. Yeah, it's in <laughs> the same building. The Pahrump Wellness Center, excuse me. Thank you. And more about healthcare right after this break. <laughs> 